Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. You know, this current Pope, being the first Jesuit Pope, has had some interesting things to say about a whole lot of things. This is one of them. Now, this is kind of like a... Uh, how would you call it? Not a publicist for the Pope, friend of the Pope for sure. And sometimes when the Pope wants to get out some more uh, non-orthodox comments, so to speak, he'll let this guy kind of leak it, leak what's being said. So he says the Pope denied the bodily resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now this is from November 7th, 2019. I've noticed it's still coming out. And I've actually done a video on this before and it kind of got corrupted in the uploading process, that type thing. So it must, it must not have been the time for this. But, uh, you know, obviously the resurrection of Jesus Christ, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 14, 17, and 21, says if you don't believe that, you cannot be saved. You cannot. There's no salvation. There's no hope outside of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's funny to me that people, uh, like, there's actually... A school of textual criticism and almost all textual critics would say okay you have the primacy of Mark Mark in Sinaiticus and Vaticanus ends at 16 8 and this would show maybe the early church didn't believe in the resurrection of Jesus and so I like I've done videos showing to where people say this and people say well, uh, that I'm lying and all this. I'm like, uh, I'm just showing you this is what they're saying. This is, this is of, of many stripes. Atheists are saying it. Bible believers are saying it. That if you, or agnostics are saying it. Uh, just uh, neutral scholars are saying it. That if you, don't believe, if you don't have Mark 16 beginning at uh, verse 9, then you can deny the bodily resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because they're running around saying he's risen and all this kind of stuff. But uh, be that as it may, for the Pope to do this, it's uh, pretty amazing. I'd want to read this paragraph out of here. It says, in October, uh, Scalfari stated in La Repubblica that Pope Francis had told him that Jesus incarnate was just a man while on earth, not man and God, as the Catholic Church teaches, as well as most Protestant teaches. Um, so, and so the church militant, which is, I think a, uh, like a conservative Catholic website, uh, ask the office of the Pope, the papacy, the Holy See about this. And so in response to church militant, the Holy See press office did not deny what Scalafari said about the Pope. Instead, they released the following statement as already stated on other occasions the words of Dr. Eugenio Scalafari attributes in quotation marks to the Holy Father during the interviews he had cannot be considered as a faithful account of what was actually said but rather represent a personal and free interpretation of those who listened as appears completely evident from what was written today concerning the divinity of Jesus Christ. That is a non-denial denial. Now that's talking about the divinity of Jesus Christ. Um, it may be helpful if I just read a couple more paragraphs here. Okay. The press office did not state that what Scalafari wrote was false. It claims only that it cannot be considered as a faithful account. There's no clear denial of demand that Scalafari correct his article or retract it, and no denial by the Pope himself. This has happened on several occasions when Scalafari has reported interviews and conversations he has engaged with with Pope Francis in person reportedly over the, often over the phone. The the news causes shockwaves around the world. Catholics ask for clarification in the Vatican issues a vague non-denial response. This is from cnsnews.com, by the way. Um, Pope Francis apparently has yet to publicly upbraid Scalfari, correct the record, or ask Scalfari's articles to be taken down. Um, there was something else. Is there something else? Donnelly also told Church Militant that Scalfaro claims that Francis' heretical beliefs are so shocking and the Pope's adamant silence so incomprehensible. We have to assume that this is an accurate account of their conservation. The claim that Francis denies the bodily resurrection of Jesus takes us into the area of defied doctrine. 
uh, the faith. Every time we recite the Nicene Apostles' Creed, we proclaim the bodily resurrection of Jesus. In the past, an ecumenical council would have been convened to condemn Christological heresies. So, that's pretty shocking. Not only denying the divinity of Jesus, but the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, just fantastical. Let me... Uh, well, yeah, let me read this. This is a very important paragraph. I hope you've stuck with me to this point. In the November 5th edition of La Repubblica, and in the introduction to his new book, Scalfari states that Pope Francis said, He, Jesus, was a man until he was placed in the tomb by the women who recomposed his body. That night, in the tomb, the man, Jesus, disappeared and came forth from the grotto in the semblance of a spirit that met the women and the apostles while still preserving the shadow of the person, and then he definitely disappeared. So, uh, that's pretty incredible. Um, follow the Bible. Don't follow a man. Follow, as Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Follow this book. Fall in love with it. Love truth more than you love anything. Because if you don't, in this time of universal deceit, you better get a strong hold of love for truth. On the inside, tell yourself the truth. Tell others. And to fall in love with the sources of truth, including the Scripture and the Holy Spirit of God. Talk with you later. God bless.